Good morning guys, it's me again, um, Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel um, and a uh, big thank you for your patience. This is the flip through, finally, of the gorgeous green giveaway for um, as a gratitude giveaway um, for my uh, Instagram um, followers. Um, we reached 400 followers probably a couple of weeks ago and um, I've been working on different things and um, finally um, I finished this lovely little uh, journal so I thought I would just do this little giveaway uh, video sorry I'm filming in a different place so it might be a bit glary um, I'm not sure we're gonna see how that goes so I've got the little um, giveaway here and um, let me just describe it for you. I've done a description. It's it's actually a little two signature giveaway. The um, if you can see it, it has a vintage um, uh, postcard on the front, and um, it's tied with ribbon and sari silk as well. Um, and I've just got little glass beads on the bottom of the ribbon here. And the sari silk has, um, I've only just dipped my toe into the world that is sari silk. Um, I've been watching Mrs. Cog do, um, just iron it and do all sorts of things and understand how it works. This is my first batch and this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm really pleased with a little, this little bundle that I picked up. Anyway, so the um, signatures, there are two signatures in this journal and it, it measures, not weighs, 12 centimetres across and 19.5 centimetres down. The spine is 2.5 centimetres wide and I've covered it with lace as you can see. Uh, the lace isn't vintage I'm afraid, it's modern, but the, um, the fabric's vintage, it's from a little... Um, uh, I got it in a, a bundle of fabrics a little while ago from a charity shop. So that's that. Um, as you can see, beautiful vintage floral on the postcard. So let's hop right in. Now the idea of this, guys, I'm going to tell you now, is that um, I've kind of resisted... Um, what's the word? Embellishing. Embellishing this. Because um, I've done um, an ephemera pack... Um, in this little paper bag here courtesy of the tutorial of uh, Tracy Fox which I'll probably link below I've done an ephemera pack for you to um, fill it embellish the journal yourself so you what you're going to find here is two signatures um, with the pages in I've got a I've raided my stash so there's a selection of lovely pages to be fair and um, you can actually embellish it yourself. So let me just hop right in and I'll, I'll explain it as I go. So we've got um, scrapbook paper, um, little uh, that a vintage bead with the, the lace. Um, I started off with a little bit of um, Kate Greenaway, which I love, absolutely love. I thought the colours of this went really well with the um, journal. Uh, this is a book page. It's a beautiful weight paper. When you receive it, whoever receives it, it's absolutely gorgeous. I think you'll love it. And it's a, on trees, a book on trees, and I've um, popped a few of those in there. I've tea dyed different weights of paper as well. I, I tea dyed some. Uh, this is coffee dyed from my stash from a long time ago. And uh, it says tea dyed, coffee dyed. It's a botanical book. And the reason why paper, the reason why I decided to just basically do the journal with the pages for you to decorate is that um, oh this book here is um, a book I've got on garden benches. When I picked it up, I thought it'd be really boring, but it actually is a lovely book. Actually, it's a really lovely book. Got so many lovely illustrations in it. Um, was that um, I recently did the flip through of my day book that I've done for me and I just put some random pages in it and uh, have been sharing how I'm decorating it and uh, everybody's really enthusiastic about the idea so I just, oh, as you can see, this is a botanical, the centre spread 
so I just thought, well, for this, I would do the same. I've been a little bit more selective. I was a bit more random with mine. But I've tried to select some really pretty, pretty papers and been a bit more orderly with this one for the giveaway. Um, there we go. And if you remember, I just I got a stash of new papers, scrap of papers from the works a couple of weeks back, and that's one of those. That's beautiful. Flip out line paper, which has been tea dyed. We all love birds, vintage bird book. And uh, I love, 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 love this actually. And it's a really heavy weight. So you can leave it as it is, or you can collage around it. Um, so that's another page of that um, tree book. I hope you can see just the illustrations. They're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So, and a uh, little description of the different trees on the back. Okay, so that's the first signature. The second signature again, um, layers, got lace on it. The beautiful uh, lace and the, just what, what tangle have I got on this one here? Just a little glass bead. Excuse my gluey hands. And the the back of this is absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I've done you a few um, journaling cards that you can um, pop together um, with this. Oh, yeah. Okay, so another tree book. More caked green away. I don't know if you can see that there. Okay. Let me just hide this. Away. And I've got a book, a little book. In fact, I think this is the book that this was in. And it's uh, a little book of house plants, and it's and it's uh, it's lovely. So I've just popped a few little descriptive. Um, pages there and I think I've got actually that's a picture from this book the book that we're actually using the cover for it's just such fun so you might have gathered by now that it's kind of botanical themed and I think this is a little bit of Edith Holden I'll put that in Bit of the um, wrapping paper that I'm loving so much at the moment. This is sort of from a really huge book that I have of um, uh, botanicals. Second little garden bench book page, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I will just say that I've only popped this one in here but in your ephemera pack you've got more um, paper clips let's hurry it along I want to be under 15 minutes uh, vintage bird book botanical gorgeous clip that out great for collaging or just popping a little something onto write in oh, I'll just left that in there it should go in your ephemera pack but I'll leave it there for now A nice way that's again from the house plant book which I just love and if you can hear the, the paper I haven't done any stamping in this um, either or washi I'm hoping that you would have a, um, some fun doing that for yourself but I've put some other bits in the ephemera pack for you to do so I, I really resist oh yes there's this little glass this isn't glass it feels I don't know, it's not glass, but it's a little pretty bit that popped on the back there. And this is like from a children's uh, um, nature walk book. And I've even resisted, I've resisted doing anything to the covers because I've popped a few bits in that I thought you could do. So that's the journal. That's the journal. And as I said, it's got sari silk and ribbon, the little combo of the two. Let's pop it to one side and quickly go through your ephemera pack. Now, I've popped these out because I don't know. Um, I've actually put some of these, a uh, couple of pages of these um, in your ephemera pack for you. So you've got a couple of those to work with. Um, this is a um, pocket. I made the bag um, and I 
had forgotten that I'd popped this little leaf on the side. So um, I've popped it, the, yeah, and it was too small, too big to go in the bag. I don't want to bend the leaf, the little faux leaf. So anyway, this little um, is just um, a three, um, oh, there we go. Didn't think that through, did I? Oh, that's probably really. Uh, three, um, you know, pocket thing that you can pop. You might want to pop it just on your um, on the front of your journal. Um, you might want to do that. You might want to just clip it in somewhere else. Uh, it might be best on the back, to be fair, because of the leaf. Or you might want to cut the leaf. It's up to you. Anyway, guys, that's the idea. You pop it where you want to where you want to use it. So, uh, I think this is one of the pages from the Observer's Book of Trees that should be in there. I can pop it in later. So, Daniel little bag. This is a Tracy Fox little paper bag tutorial that she did, and it's fabulous. Um, I got it from uh, my big book of goodies. And actually, while you look at that, I'm gonna just go and get my day book. do that okay let's quickly go through what's in your ephemera pack so once you've finished with the bag the idea is that you can pop it in your journal if you fancy take it to bits or you could always fold it over fold it over and make it into a little um book cover your uh, journal cover yourself if you like uh, just a little bit of lace i pop that in all right so in here, you have a little selection of goodies that you can use. We'll do whatever you like with really in this journal or others. Um, this is like a couple of pages from this lovely book that I have on flowers, and it's they would like seed packets. That's why I got that. Um, in here, um, let me see. When I did my day book, I did the tutorial. Well, I just shared it how I did this little autumn collage and people really liked it so what I've done is um, I popped for this book I popped your little selection of goodies so you have some of the faux leaves you have some of the vintage fabric and you have a little bit of lace it's the same lace it's from the lace that I used in mine but I use the center for, for the one in mine so this is just a bit of edging you might have something in your stash actually that will go even better so you can you can recreate that if you like so that's for that a little envelope in here and i've popped just a few just a few stamps just a few postage stamps for you to do i liked that i was really excited if you can see that and how it matches it really is a really good match for your little card on the front anyway so that's that that's that um some more of the tree i've made a couple of um, or just slightly embellished just a couple of the uh, little journaling cards for you uh, just to give you an idea if you're new you know what you can do so that's yeah and then you've got a selection of different ones just different sizes um, and a little pocket to pop in some little tags so you've got a selection of uh, little mini mini tags and sort of uh, two of the larger and I've also popped in um, I've sewn around one of the youth clubs uh, bird book pages and that one I've got this from the bird book and um, I got this from a Victorian little herb garden-y thing. Oh, and there's more. And there's more. A few more like taggy type things, have I? Not already? Oh no, I've done it already. And just this little, um, oh, tea dyed page all about nature and, and a children's nature walk and the contents for different months. I thought that'd be quite sweet. So that's it, guys. All I really want you to do um, is for this is to uh, tag three friends. 
tag three friends um, on Insta, uh, this, this post um, on Instagram, and um, then just um, make a little comment what you like about this, you know, the, the, your favourite bit about uh, this flip through, and I will draw it on Wednesday. It will be about six o'clock on Wednesday, the 21st of November. Um, so that will be it. I hope you love it. I love doing it. And so much so that I made, um, I put another little one together. And if you remember the brown, I, um, the study in brown, I think I called this one. Uh, this one's going to be my Etsy. Um, it's very similar, but it's got three signatures. It's a little bit bigger. And I'm just putting it, oh, here we go. Done it again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, like, I'm so pushed with time, I might not even have time to edit this. <laughs> sorry. So, so there's that one, and I'm just about, I've just made the bag, and I'm filling it with the embellishments for this one. This will be in my Etsy in the next couple of days. So, um, anyway, enjoy the giveaway and um speak to you soon take care guys bye bye